Hey guys, we're here. GPA Week Two versus Hopeless, and I don't remember his team name, but um, we're playing Hopeless. I think he won his last week. I don't remember who he played, but I'm pretty sure he won his last week. Um, good on him. Uh, we also won our last week, so we're go moving to see who can go 2-0. Now, and this is paused because I wanted to tab, so I tabbed out. But, um, his team, you see what he brought. His bitched Pokemon are Rotom Heat, Primarina, Electabuzz, Mega Houndoom, and Superior. Now, C6 I brought. Um, we got Dragapult, Mixpult. Max attack with like 96 special attack. Uh, with Wisp, Nido King is Earth Power Sludge Wave, Sub Stealth Rock. We only need Earth Power Sludge Wave. Snorlax is Curse Flax with Body Slam Quake Rest. Uh, it deals with like a lot. It can win the game potentially. Ban is Sneasel because I wanted to bring Sneasel and it actually looked pretty clean here because it didn't really have a great swap in. Um, Spadef Lantern with, like, a decent amount of his death, just to, like, take some random hit from her Shifu if I need be. And I have Gleam, so I can hit her Shifu and break a Kiram sub, potentially, or just hit Kiram in general. And then, Mixed Diancy. So, yeah. Um, we play Opalus. Woo, let's get right into it. So, looking at what he brought, uh, I expected the Rotom Heat because, yeah, I know. Uh, it makes sense not bringing Rotom Heat though, because my offensive Pokemon deal with it pretty well. Uh, Dragapult is walled. It Dragapult walled is dual stab. Dancy obviously bobbed it with Diamond Storm slash Power Gym. Uh, Neo King does chunk with Sludge Wave. He does deal with Metal. His team would like his team. He brought Seismitoad as his normal answer rather than um, Rotom, which is fine. It's probably a better one. I, mean, I thought Rotom with like split could have been cool because it's better recovery than uh, uh Seismito does and Seismito can't kill me while uh the metal dies to Rotom. But yeah, um looking at his build, I wasn't sure what his gear would be. I didn't think it'd be specs. I have a Snorlax, there's no way you're bringing a specs gear. Him. It might be some bait set with like Roselli or Haban. Uh you could be like I don't even know. I think that'd be like the only two baits you'd bring. Um, otherwise, you could be specs. Again, I doubt it, but it's possible. Slow King, I'm assuming it could be like Fizz Def Assault Vest, or it just could be straight Assault Vest. But Def to deal with Diancy, takes hits from Pult. Uh, Seismic Toad definitely takes his phys physically defensive Pokemon to deal with my physical offense Pokemon. Drachi, I was not sure what it was going to be. I assumed Scarf, just to deal with. Uh, Diane Steen has something faster than Pult, because it is regular Aerodactyl. So, unless you're like Scarf or Shifu, then I did not think Scarf or Shifu was that great here. Because Bandit or Shifu, I can't swap into. Scarf or Shifu, I can play around decently well. Um, but, you know... Scarf or Shifu does kill Pult, kill Diancy, and kills my metal. So it kills my offensive Fairy Dragon Steel. So it's an option. Kind of expected it. Because again, I didn't think Jirachi would be Scarf 100%. Because you have to flinch Dragon Pult to kill it. Aerodactyl. I had no clue what Aerodactyl was going to be. <laughs> just to be honest. Um, but I wasn't that scared of it. But anyway, we preview. I didn't want to leak here. Him. I was about it. I, my music is way up. I am deeply apologizing. You this side. Anyway, I led Lantern. Matched up well versus Kiram. Didn't really die to anything. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I voted out just to get in my Pokemon. I go Pult. Um, the only way you're staying in here is if you're a Bond, like I said. Uh, he stays in here. He's a Bond. He's a bait for Dragapult. I knew it was possible. Uh, I just go Snorlax. Whatever. He misses Focus Blast, Focus Miss, go for Body Slam, para him. That sucks. I mean, he missed Focus Blast, and I got a para with Body Slam. That's quite unfortunate. And he gets fully parried. 
and I crit him with body slam, and it was a higher roll. So holy, this here I'm gonna do nothing. <laughs> like, I don't know if we're probably acknowledging how unfortunate that scenario was. I got a focus miss into a para, into a full para, into a crit high roll. You know? Ouch. That sucks. Now, I don't think damage on this really mattered too much for him, but, uh, you know. I mean, look at Curse Lex. I look at the Sea. It's very strong. Um, once I get a couple curses off, I achieve it has to be banded to break through me. Yeah, obviously, look at Blood and Crit, but again, it has to be banded to break through me, and nothing can even remove me after the fact. So, anyway, I get out of this uh, 100%. So that's cool. Anyway, uh, Kiram's gone. I don't need Lantern. That easy. Dainty comes in. Uh, I wanted to make the safe Moonblast play because I was not messing with some like crap. That's about it. I was scared. Sloking. I didn't think I died anything. He goes for Iron Tail. That would have killed me. <laughs> I think it's a roll. I think it's like a 50 50 roll. I don't remember that. And I could be straight line, but uh, I think it was 50 50. So that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't want to get this roll. I don't want to get a low roll here. I knew Sneezer would live and obviously force it out. I'm just going for not because any knock on anything is good. It reveals his helmet. Um, I don't want to swap anything in, and there's a high chance he's going for rocks here. So I'm just knocking. So worst case scenario, Sneezer dies. Sneezer did not die and got out of this interaction with the dead that mine. So I max speed uh, because it's sped tie with Houndoom. I don't know how much speed he had, but he got greedy as fuck. Well. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, so I got 88% off on that mod, which is cool. I uh, put in a range of U-turn. I could have, like, Dragon Darts, but, like, I don't want to mess with anything. I get Diancy, brings in Slow King. It's whatever. Snorlax comes in, deals with uh, pretty much every Slow King. Defense drop. Nah. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of annoying because I can't, like, curse effectively, but it's fine. Just go for another Body Slam. I curse here. Here, I don't want to get uh, tricked, because this thing gets tricked, right? And I don't know if it does, actually. I could just be straight line, but uh, at the time, I was scared of trick. I think I checked and it does get tricked. I was scared of Scarf Trick, and I didn't want this mod to die, because I this could win, potentially, because it could set up all over Slow King. And it's just like my best answer for Slow King consistently is anyway, so like I didn't want to sack it. Anyway, let's go Nita King here. As he sets up a cosmic power, and cosmic power is always a threat. But Earth power does so much damage. It didn't even do as much as I thought it would, by the way. It reveals this god awful set. It's not awful. That's the problem. Um, he's now at 83%. Cow is in chat, obviously, because you know he's always in chat for my game. Woo! So excited. Anyway, that freaking sucked. By the way, my voice just went up, but uh, that sucked. Because I would not have killed this thing with Earth Power. Otherwise, in this thing straight one of the game. More than likely. Unless I, like, crit Earthquake. But I think Snorlax died to store power. So I think that wouldn't even be an option. I would just have to crit Earth Power. But uh, at this point, it looks pretty over for me. Because Diancy uh, kills this. But Slow King's still healthy enough where he can go Slow King. Um... At this point, I didn't know what the freak Zer Shifu was. I still thought it was Scarf. So I thought I lost. Guaranteed, because this thing probably just swept. Um, there, it could have came in an Iron Head or a CC. I think CC is straight killed anyway. So I thought I just lost a CC. I said GG, so I thought it was just a wrap. <laughs> um, but he said this Pedestrop sealed it for me. I'm like, I don't think it did. I don't think it's over. I think I thought I lost. But, uh, Jirachi died. I go Snorlax on this, obviously. I tell miss. That one didn't really matter, but, uh, he could have doubled. That was a little obvious, the Snorlax. But, um, Body Slam, woo. He hits a dynamic punch. He hits a dynamic punch. Um, that means he is, what's it called? I don't remember what's called. It's that item that boosts your um, speed once you miss. 
a move. Again, I don't remember what the freak it is, but that was a cool tech here that probably could have swept. Because, I mean, look at that thing and look up my team when it can swap moves and it's faster than everything. I got nothing. <laughs> but, um, if he missed there, it's like. He would have had to hit another one because I don't think we could blow killed. Um, it's blunder policy. Um, so, but even so, if he hit, it should still be over because this doesn't meet uh, slucking. Uh, our seafood drops. Slow King comes in. Honestly, he probably could have gone slow king there. He probably should have gone slow king there at that. Because it risks a lot less. Because he went for side shock here. Because if I did not get the defense boost and it took a KO'd, potentially, wait, if they did it. Also, that wouldn't have killed, but I would have been in range of rocks. So, like, you see Iron Hit did 41. It was doing 82 without the defense. So, uh, my dynasty pretty much would have been dead. Um, and it said it wasn't. So, yeah. Here's a defense drop here on the edge. Um, but anyway, this is where it's like, if you had your Shifu to go sack, then you had it wrapped up anyway, anyway, because potentially, well, no, you had it wrapped up on side crit, which, you know, with all this luck I've had this game, it wouldn't even be far-fetched. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess in a sense, that was a throw. But my guy, dude, um, you know, I got a little lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get as lucky as I initially thought. Like, the post-match, I thought this game was just garbage. No, this game is just garbage. I just really, I forgot about, like, early Iron Tail Biss. But, like, his Kieran basically didn't get anything when it, you know, should have. I mean, that Kieran didn't deserve what happened to it. Then he missed Iron Tail into Diancy. Then, like, even in the end game, I played it to a point where he could win. <laughs> and, uh, you know... I still get the defense boost and uh, win the game. You know, the only thing he could have done differently. Put some fucking glasses on his Pokemon. And I, I know he didn't. That's what I say. He put it on their Shifu. But, uh, you know, um, it's funny because their Shifu is intended to miss. And he missed everything except the one thing he wanted to miss. <laughs> but, um, nah, it's just like... The only thing he could have done differently was the like the final turn, but you gotta realize that that crap doesn't matter if he, I don't get the defense boost. So uh, yeah, but basically here he would just have another opportunity. He would literally win unless I crit. So you know, and worst case scenario is I Diamond Storm predicting Slow King, but that doesn't really matter, I don't think. As you still get 33% more, which means you always live another hit and you always get another turn. So, um, it would be basically this scenario, except I have to make a play that there's no shot I make. You know, I would have to die in the slow king, and why in the world would I do that? That doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, um, this game was garbage. I should finish it, but this game was garbage. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. I, I, I won, but at what cost? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, apologies to him, but I don't, I don't know. The game is garbage. Dynasty farmed kills. They didn't only get like two. No, we got three. One in Jirachi, two. Seasonal doesn't work, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. I'm lucky. Hopeless is bad. We moved to 2-0 and with a broken team. And somehow, I need to play better, by the way. I have to prep better and play better. Because this match, I didn't deserve this match. I should have gotten, like, 3-0'd, 4-0'd. And instead, uh, I won 1-0. And it was not because I played well. <laughs> um, ah, ah, if I'm going to go and make a playoff run, then I got to play better than this. So... Whatever, we move on to week three. We face Noel next week. He's pretty solid. I don't know his record, but uh, see you guys tomorrow with that match.